Oh man, <laughs> look at that. Uh, dinosaur bones there. Uh, as you can see, the beef center cut back ribs. It says it's ready to, ready to grill. From Walmart, let's get them prepped. And we'll take you right down the road of showing how these get cooked. Right, folks, there's ribs. Uh, put a little olive oil on there and then, yeah, you got it. Break out the big dicks. Uh, I like the, I really love the big dicks dry rib rub on, uh, on beef ribs, especially on beef ribs. It turned out great every time. www.rubsandmore.com. That's where you can find big dicks at. Uh, so we'll get, uh, you know what, we're going to, real treat here. We're going to break in the new Weber 22 inch. Uh, doing these uh, ribs on there. We're going to use the Sloan's here plus with the dripping griddle and I'll give you a look-see when we're at the grill. Well, hey folks, let's take a look at setup. I just put the ribs on. Things are just starting to come up to temp a little bit. You can see I got my top vent about half, uh, maybe three quarters open. Bottom one was about half. Take a look on the inside. You can see we got yeah, we got our ribs, we got the dripping griddle underneath there, and then we got the Sloan sear full of just regular blue, blue bay Kingsford. We got three chunks of cherry wood on there, and we're just starting it on the uh, one side and let it go over to the other side. Nice, slow and slow, and uh, get this covered up. A little chilly here today, not not cold, cold, you know, not knock your socks, socks off cold, but about 30 degrees, so manageable. Uh, but we'll give you a look-see as we progress. Keep on watching. Hey folks, we're about three hours into it. Let's take a quick look. Let's see how our ribs are doing, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's do a quick toothpick test, shall we? Remember if it goes in and out real nice and easy. Yeah, we got a little ways to go yet. I mean, they're getting there. But, um, getting close, looking good. Give you a look-see as we progress. Wait, well, folks, after four hours and I let them rest for about 20 minutes covered, and uh, there's, my, there's our Walmart beef ribs done on the Weber with the slow and sear, and I'll tell you what, nice looking smoke ring on there, and uh, let's just take a little taste, shall we? Mmm. The big dicks on there, really nice. Nice little smoke in there from that cherry wood. Folks, uh, easy to do. You don't know, Walmart meat, meat uh, on, on a Weber kettle. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Don't forget Tom Horseman at YouTube. And as always, folks, I can't say it enough. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.